Grapes are one of the oldest and most popular fruits in the world, and they are widely cultivated for their delicious taste, health benefits, and versatile uses. Whether you are a hobbyist or a commercial grower, growing grapes can be a rewarding and challenging experience. In this guide, we will provide you with a complete process for grape agriculture, from site selection to post-harvest management, based on best practices and scientific research. Site Selection Choosing the right site for your vineyard is crucial for the success of your grape agriculture. Grapes require a warm and sunny climate, with at least 150 frost-free days and 2,000 growing degree days, GDD, per year. The ideal temperature range for grape growth is 60 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit, with a mean annual temperature of 50 to 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Grapes also need well-drained soil with a pH range of 5.5 to 7.0, adequate moisture, and good air circulation. Sloping terrain with a south-facing aspect is preferred, as it maximizes sunlight exposure and minimizes frost damage. You should avoid sites that are prone to flooding, erosion, or high winds, as these can damage the vines and reduce yields. Variety Selection Choosing the right variety of grapes for your site and market is equally important for the success of your grape agriculture. Grapes come in many colors, sizes, flavors, and textures, and each variety has its own requirements and characteristics. Some of the most popular grape varieties for wine production include Cabernet Sauvignon, Chardonnay, Merlot, Pinot Noir, Riesling, Sauvignon Blanc, Syrah, and Zinfandel, but there are many others to choose from. You should consult with a local nursery or extension office to find out which varieties are best suited for your region and purpose, and consider factors such as disease resistance, yield potential, flavor profile, and market demand. Planting Once you have selected the site and variety, it's time to plant the vines. Grapes can be propagated from cuttings, rooted vines, or grafted plants, and each method has its own advantages and disadvantages. You should order your vines from a reputable nursery that offers certified and disease-free stock, and choose the appropriate rootstock and scion combination for your site and soil type. Planting should be done in early spring, after the last frost, and the vines should be spaced according to the trellis system and variety, typically 6 to 10 feet apart and 6 to 8 feet between rows. You should also provide proper support for the vines, such as trellises or stakes, to help them grow vertically and evenly. Training Training your grape vines is an ongoing process that involves shaping and directing their growth to maximize yield and quality. Grapes can be trained in many ways, such as the guide system, the cordon system, the spur system, the niffin system, and the Geneva double curtain system, among others. Each system has its own pros and cons, and you should choose the one that suits your variety, site, and market. Training involves pruning, thinning, and tying the shoots, leaves, and fruit clusters to promote optimal growth, yield, and quality. Pruning is typically done in the winter or early spring, before the buds break, and involves removing the old and weak wood and shaping the new growth. Thinning is done during the growing season, to reduce the number of fruit clusters and improve their size and flavor. Tying involves attaching the shoots and clusters to the trellis or wire, to prevent them from sagging or touching the ground, and to expose them to sunlight and air.